another osploitation film, I guess? What's up everybody, back today with another review for you. It's gonna be for a movie called Wormwood, Road of the Dead. It's an Australian zombie film. Really cool poster and artwork. Uh, the imagery in this movie is pretty freaking cool. The film is directed by Kai Roke Turner and it's written by him and his brother Tristan, I believe. And it's an Australian film, so you gotta kinda cut it a little slack, uh, at least in my opinion, because it, it has that Australian style to it. I mean, the poster for it says, Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead, and that's a pretty fair assessment of it, uh, I would say with a little Friday the 13th thrown in. Of course, I guess the guy had a hockey mask and, you know, the road warrior, whatever. So the film is basically about this guy fighting his way down the road of the dead to find his sister. Um, because some stuff happens to his family, he has to find his sister, and there's some military sort of uh, paramilitary people or whatever that are doing some crazy shit on the road also, and he meets up, of course, with some other people, and, you know, it's just him fighting his way through different scenarios, basically, like most zombie movies. At the beginning, I thought it was going to take a little bit of a different turn on the zombie angle, and it does... Ultimately, because the way they explain the zombies, what their purpose is, is kind of good and kind of bad. It reminded me, you know, why Romero never tried to explain his zombies. Because when you explain them, then you start bringing up scientific stuff, and then it just kind of goes down the tubes real quick. But let's get into it real quick, the good and the bad. First of all, I thought it was pretty fast-paced, the beginning of the film. I was really hooked in at the beginning. It kind of wore off a little bit towards the end, but the imagery also is cool, of course, because you got zombies, you got... Guys wearing their road weird gear and their different types of masks and they have this cool car. You know, like I don't want to get too much into it because it will spoil what the little twist with the zombies is. Tons of gore. There's this really cool part that happens kind of in this lab. Um, and there's like this evil doctor and it's just pretty cool. That whole sequence, I liked all that stuff. It was pretty bizarre. Where it led ultimately, I didn't like that. But... I like the way that part in the lab look. It tries to be funny in some parts. It has that whole, you know, lighthearted Australian sort of feel to it. That's the best way to put it. I mean, I didn't think it was super funny, but it's not super serious at the same time, especially, you know, with the subject matter they're dealing with, all these people dying, killing, heads getting blown off. They take it pretty lightly. And like I said, just kind of generally off the wall, something a little bit different, more to the Evil Dead, uh, Dead Alive type movie than something serious like Dawn of the Dead. So let's get to the bad stuff and the worst thing about this film is I think it just went a little long and the more I think about it, the way they tried to explain what was going on with the zombies had no reasoning basically. I mean, when they explained the whole Wormwood thing, I had never heard that before so I thought that was freaking cool. And then they go into sort of like the mechanism of the zombies and it really served no purpose except to push the story a little bit farther and create some Mad Max type environment. I would say that that's my hint to, you know, the twist with the zombies and the camera work at times pissed the hell out of me. I don't know if, you know, they didn't catch some of the scenes right or whatever and they kind of had to like trick it out a little bit with some uh, digital stuff. I don't know. And then of course the blood is mostly CGI. It didn't bug me. You know, there's a lot of heads getting blown off and stuff. I like that actually and the CGI didn't look that bad. But ultimately at the end, where the whole story leads with this guy and his sister and you know I don't want to give the whole movie away but I just didn't like what they did at the end with the zombies I was like uh because they kind of half-assed tried to explain what was driving the zombies and then at the end they just took it another step and made it more convoluted and it, I mean it's not that you can't understand it but it's just I didn't think it made any sense and it's more like a setup for a second movie basically and I really don't like when movies do that too much. I prefer it just be a standalone movie and of course it's a standalone film but the ending just bugged me what they did with the sister and the zombies. So yeah, I'm gonna go on the safe side. I'm gonna give this a 2.5 out of 5 almost a soft three because I think if you're a zombie fan you're gonna want to see it because they do a little something different with the zombies it's kind of lighthearted, lots of gore which is always good in a zombie film but at the same time I just didn't like ultimately the ending and stuff like that and like I said some of the camera work and it just got a little long towards the end it's only 98 minutes but it's like oh it kind of recycled itself a couple times already so I was like eh so 2.5 out of 5 tell me what you thought of Wormwood down below if you've seen the film uh, it's available on VOD now, so let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.